it's super early. It's 5 a.m. Time to go training. Let's talk about cycling in South Africa. Let's start with the side of the sport that I know less about, the mountain biking. Mountain biking in South Africa is massive. It is just thriving. There's great dirt roads, there's great single track, there's great terrain, the weather's fantastic, and there's a ton of racing. There's stage racing like every weekend, there's cross country races, there's marathon races, and we have probably one of the world's most prestigious mountain bike races, the Cape Epic. And every year there are more and more mountain bikers doing more and more races and just in general the sport is thriving. On the roadside though things are a little tougher. While Cape Town has the world's biggest time cycle race which is the Cape Town Cycle Tour which has about 35,000 people participate. Other than that the sport is kind of struggling in the country and a lot of that has to do with the South African roads. We don't have a very dense paved network of roads which means the roads which are paved usually have a high volume of traffic and generally people drive at quite high speed which makes for dangerous roads coupled with aggressive drivers and often people who don't have a lot of patience and at this time of year in the run-up to the Cape Town Cycle Tour there actually are quite a lot of cyclists out on the road which makes things quite difficult because you have a large volume of cyclists on roads which are not designed for them coupled with high traffic volumes and aggressive high-speed drivers so training in South Africa is not always ideal on the road which is a big factor in why the mountain biking is thriving as well because training on the road is not great and there's just a lot more events on the mountain biking side there's a lot more coverage there's there's a lot more people doing it it's just in general it's the healthier side of the sport but instead of just ditching road cycling completely the South African cyclists have come up with a pretty good way around the crazy roads and that is to train very early in the mornings. We train really early in the morning. Well, we is not necessarily the right word. Probably they. I've been kind of struggling with the whole early morning thing since I got back. People are waking up at like 4, 4.30 in the morning and they're hitting the road between 4.30 and 5 and they're getting their hour and a half or two hours or even two and a half hour ride done before the roads get hectic and they're off the roads when the heavy traffic starts around 7, 7.15 a.m. That also gives them time to get to work for 8 or 9 o'clock, whatever it may be. So people get all their training done in the early hours of the morning. When you head out at sort of 4.30, 5 a.m., there's pretty much no one on the roads. While it's still dark, it is really warm. You're still riding in shorts and a jersey at that hour. You do need lights for visibility, but there's just no cars on the road. You can ride down the busiest main road and there's just no one in sight. You can get high quality training because you're not stopping, hitting traffic or a ton of traffic lights, whatever it may be. You can train really well and you don't have to deal with the traffic and you get to see an awesome sunrise and you just get to enjoy the roads and get a bit of peace and quiet. If you're thinking of coming to South Africa and you're really worried about bringing your bike, 
don't be. You just need to know two things when it's best to train and what roads not to ride on. There are a lot of roads around Cape Town, roads up in outside Peter Maritzburg that I will just not ride on because of the reputation they have or incidents that I know of with high speed traffic and high traffic volume. Just you avoid them completely and if you ride early in the mornings things are generally pretty good. As you get out of the city and into smaller towns or more rural areas then high traffic volume is less of a worry and the riding becomes a lot more enjoyable. So if you're thinking about coming to South Africa and you're worried about bringing your bike or training you can just drop me a comment below at any time and I'll try and get back to you and potentially provide you with some good routes to ride, some advice for riding in the area, what hours are best to ride and maybe even put you in touch with someone who knows more than I do or might even be able to show you around. When you do get onto the roads at the right hour and choose the right roads, cycling in this country is magnificent. We have incredible weather, great terrain, awesome views. It's just, it's something you need to experience. You just need to take precautions and be sensible and you really can enjoy the roads here. Or you can just bring a mountain bike or a cyclocross bike and then you don't have to worry about any of that.